Hey kids, it's Papa. All right, take your Bibles and turn with me to Revelation chapter 22. Revelation chapter 22. By the time you see this, hopefully we've seen each other. <laughs> and uh, I, we're really looking forward to it right now. I'm recording this on uh, on Friday, uh, the 4th of, uh, of October. It's already October. In any case, I uh, hope we've had some hugs. Anyway, uh, take a look at Revelation chapter 22, starting in verse 6. Um, here we find in this last chapter of the book of Revelation, we see some wrap up, uh, and he's, he's putting the, you know, the bow on the top of this present to us, uh, in verse six, he says, and he said unto me, uh, these things that faithful and true and the Lord God and the holy prophets sent his angel to show unto his servants, the things which must be shortly done. Behold, I come quickly. Blessed is he that keepeth the sayings of the prophecy of this book. Okay, so this is God speaking about the angel. But notice in verse, um, it, uh, it says in verse 8, and, and I, John, saw these things, and I heard them. And when I had heard and seen, I fell down and worshipped before the feet of the angel, which showed me these things. And he saith unto me, See that thou do it not, for I am thy fellow servant, and of thy brethren, of thy prophets, and of them which keep the sayings of the book uh, of this book, uh, worship God. Okay. And by the way, this is good advice. We see a lot of amazing things. And yet all of those things that are servants to God would tell us, Hey, no, 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 no. Worship God. Okay. And you know, there are people out there nowadays that worship all kinds of things. And, and I think that if those things could talk, they would say, Oh no, no, no. You worship God. Okay. Uh, I mean, there, there are people that worship the, the beauty of creation. Uh, it, it's great to appreciate and to love and to, and to relish the beauty of creation. But if creation could talk, it would say, no, 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 you worship God. Okay? There are those in, in Christianity who worship standards. And they say, well, you have to do this, and you have to do this, and you have to do this, and you have to do this. And if you do those things, then God will love you. No. God loves you anyway. And if those standards could speak, they would say, no, no, no. You worship God, not standards. There are people who worship translations of the Bible. Now, the, the Bible is, is equivalent to Jesus Christ, okay? According to John 1, 1, in the beginning was the Word, the Word was with God, and the Word was God. It was talking about Jesus Christ, but it's also talking about the Word of God. And, 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 and so in that respect, the, the Word of God is, is worthy of our attention and our worship, but a translation of it, is, it's a translation, okay? And, and there are some people who worship the King James Version, and they shouldn't. There are people who, who, who say, well, you know, we don't like the King James, we like this version, and they worship that version. No, if a version could speak, it would say, no, worship God. Oh, wait a minute. This version does speak. And notice those last two words of the verse of uh, verse 9. Worship God. Not a version. Not standards. Not nature. Not anything but God. You worship Him. And this is important because there's a lot of religions out there that have you worshiping other things. They have you worshiping Mary or worshiping statues or worshiping myself. Or, you know, worshiping some spiritual leader or worshiping some other, you know, writing or whatever. No, worship God. And I would encourage you to analyze in your life, what are the things that you worship? What are the things that you hold up as being so important in your life that they're just so... And you know what? There are a lot of things that people worship. Worship God. Okay? Yeah. Alrighty. Hey. Love you guys. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.